Hi everyone, I'm your local Green Schools Officer Rob and this Green Schools Marine Week we've chosen to champion five marine animals. The eagle, the starfish, the seahorse, the manatee and the penguin. Join us for our draw along sessions and learn how to draw each of these marine animals. Hi everybody, welcome to our draw along sessions. Today we are going to learn how to draw an eel. Here's one I did earlier, just to give you an idea of what it might look like at the end. So, to start with you will need a pencil, a pencil sharpener, a rubber, and then when you're finished you'll need some colours to colour in what you do. So, I am going to use a pen instead of a pencil because it will come up clearer for you guys on the video. So let's get started. So we're going to try and use the entire page as much as we can. So I'm going to start right up here and I'm going to do what looks like a big two. and then bring all the way to the end, and I'm gonna bring it down to there. So this is gonna be the most of the body, the tail, and he's swerving in the water, and then this is on the top of the fin. So we're just gonna bring it down a tiny little bit here, and then we're gonna continue on the rest of the body, and down to make the head of the eel. So it's gonna come all the way down to about here, and um, this is going to be the start of the eel's mouth. So this is going to turn into the fin and this will be the body then underneath. So for the start of the mouth we're going to bring a nice curved line like this. And we're going to draw a nice smiley face off that. So bring it down, it's an open mouth and he's smiling and we'll bring it back in like that. And this, so this becomes the top of his head and this is his mouth, so we have to draw the bottom of his head then. So from that smile, we're going to bring down a line and bring it all the way back in a nice swerve. So we're continuing on with the line and that's going to make his head. So to show you that it's head, we'll put in the eye. Nice big circle like this. And inside of that, another little circle. And then we'll do another little circle inside of that and fill it in. So we have the eye, the head, and the smiley mouth. Now, to finish off the head, we'll just do a little line that comes now halfway up, like this, and a little bit of a curve. And that's going to show you kind of where the gills might be if it was on, to give you an idea. And his head is kind of two toned. So we're going to do a broken up line starting in his lip, coming up here, all the way up, just coming along and that line is going to continue around the body then afterwards. So we have the eel's head. From the bottom of the eel's head we're going to continue our line on and we're going to make the eel's body. So continuing it all the way across the sheet, all the way along. Past this line here we're going to continue out a bit and then we're going to curve up. So we're going to start to curve all the way up, round, in a big curve all the way because the body twists we're going to continue that curve right the way up until it meets this line that we started yeah so that's the most of the body down the bottom here we're going to do so we've a fin up the top we're going to do a fin down the bottom so just out from about here we're going to come out we're going to go along and then we're going to join that fin. It's going to go in behind the body, so we're not going to see it. So it comes to a point here, and it joins where the curve starts. So Now to show the fin at the top, where it came down, where we had this little bit coming down, we're going to start to come and follow the body underneath that, all the way along. And then we're going to swing it right up. So actually we're going to continue right the way across and it joins here and the fin joins a little bit up above. So the body is continued on and the fin has continued on. 
and we can't see the fin here now this fin has come around the back and it's coming back up here around we're going to follow that line all the way around to a point it's not going to meet that one it's going to come to a point before it this one we can bring that point all the way back so it meets here and then the same again for this point so we're going all the way back till it meets here very complicated looking but it's just the movement of the body of the fish so of the eel so as i said this kind of broken line that's going to go all the way around and we'll finish that in a second but we're going to do one of his little flippers or his fins here so just coming out like this and coming all the way back and then curved line coming back and then coming all the way in and then we want to show that that's a fin so we're going to put our little lines in front of that then there's kind of a v shape so we're going to bring a line down like this and we're going to bring a line down like this so that's kind of where the start of the head starts the kind of neck part and from this line we're going to follow it on but we're going to give it a gap until after the fin so here we're going to start in a broken line all the way into the in between in the middle of this these two parts of the body all the way up and you see the body starting to curve so we have to curve that line that broken line all the way around now this is the twist in the body but we can still see this line on the other side so this, this is the front this is the back this is the front so we're going to continue that line on the back here, just along, and it stops there. And then on the front again, in a nice curve, we're going to come all the way back until we meet this point. And that is our eel. A little bit complicated, but if you follow along and break it down, you should be able to see it. So the next thing you want to do is get your colors again and color it in. And as I said, I did one earlier, so this is kind of what it looks, it looks like. 